In this video, I'm gonna be turning Stereo Madness into Slaughterhouse, literally. This is the craziest and most cursed idea I have ever had, and honestly, I don't know what I'm doing of my life at this point. Anyways, let's see how it goes. The first thing I did was to get a copy from Stereo Madness. Let's name it Slaughter Madness. And after I changed the color from the ground and the background, I decided to start it by decorating the spikes. Okay, I think I think this is looking like a spike that comes from Slaughterhouse. Let's just spam it, spam the spike. After finishing the spikes at the speed of light, I decided to add some iconic Slaughterhouse elements, such as the club step monster from the beginning of the level. Let's make the Slaughterhouse club step monster here in 10 seconds. Okay, um, it has like some circles in it, just like this. Let's spam some spikes in it. Bro, Loki, this looks good. Why am I quite literally putting effort in this? After putting some details that come directly from my style into this monster, such as some slopes and lines, I I was already done with it and after doing it I decided to go and make this slaughterhouse block design we do be building this why am I with the Giga Chad song in my head I'm sorry I, I literally say a lot of crazy random stuff when I got nothing else to talk about I'm just gonna put some ground spikes around it for some reason like there are a lot of people that call ground spikes kill ground. Kill ground is the most senseless name of history. Like, if you call this thing a kill ground, I'm, I low-key wanna kill you. After finishing the first block design of the part, I proceeded to make those pillars that are on the top part of Slaughterhouse. I am here, sitting on my chair, in my room, just talking random shit to my microphone, why would I build a slaughterhouse remake here and you guys are watching me do it? Like, what's what what's the things? What's the meaning of life? I'm gonna add some glory. As you can see here, I am just copying and pasting a lot of things. I am a professional copy paster. Let's play test it. The attempts are in front of the monster. Dub. Anyways. I think it's looking kind of decent so far. Also, I forgot to don't fade and don't enter. After putting some ground spikes around the pillars and adding some kind of red spikes around everything, the block designs were completely finished. And now I'm gonna try to replicate the slaughterhouse's background, that one with a lot of glow lasers. Why is this looking pretty decent? I will replicate the background now. You should replicate the background now let's make uh, some glow lasers here i don't know how you guys are doing but i'm doing pretty decent today so does this glow pillar i like i like it bro i still remember when i made my first remaking slaughterhouse video and i didn't know how to pronounce i actually didn't know how to pronounce the word slaughterhouse so I thought the way, the correct way to pronounce it would be Slaughterhouse. So I just pronounced it like that in the video and like, I wanna kill myself. After doing the glow lasers, I added some grasses details and a 3D on the ground. And when I play tested it and took a closer look at it, I realized I was creating the most cursed thing ever. Mm, okay, this is low-key looking like slaughterhouse and i just realized how cursed this is looking but i'm all for it anyways now it was time to make the sauce and as many of you know slaughterhouse sauce are literally straight up empty and since i didn't want to just go and do an empty thing here and call it a day i decided to make it in my way um, okay, so let's add some sauce. Okay, let's just spam this now because we are the goats of the spamming things. Bro, I feel like my sauce are looking like my spikes. I'm just spamming things at this point. Okay, this sauce is looking kind of terrible to be honest. And boom, we have a sauce. After spamming this saw over the entire part, I decided to add some black and red glow on the tea tree layer in this part, just to improve the atmosphere a little bit. This is low-key looking like slaughterhouse and that scares me. Bro, I think I should leave this level like this. Holy moly, bro, this is insane, dude. Fire, fire, fire. Holy dub. 
Holy dub. I have to put a don't fade and don't enter here. Now I decided I was gonna add those stars from the background of Slaughterhouse in this level. Okay, let's spam some stars and make them go to the left. Well, in the original level, the stars take over 4,000 objects. Dub, dub, the dubs only, bro. Today, we're having dubs only. And as you can see, I finished it very quickly. And I know that Slaughterhouse doesn't have any arrows in it, but since I'm addicted to making arrows, I decided to add some of them just for fun. Okay, this arrow is a dub for sure. W arrow, W arrow, W arrow. This arrow kind of looks like the kind of looks like a spike, but I don't care. Arrows everywhere. This is the most cursed thing I have ever done in my entire life, bro. I I I don't know. I am scared right now. I am scared. I know how. To, I know what to say. I, I legit don't know what to say, bro. At this point, I was already questioning my own existence and thinking about what I was doing with my life. Anyways, now I decided to make that kind of glimpsy effect on the eye of the club sap monster. Oh god, why does this look actually good? The target's number 4 is gonna spin around the number 5. Okay, dub, this is working. Yo, that's so sick. Bro, that looks sick, bro. After finishing that little glimpsy effect, I made some moves and the first section was basically done. And after doing it, I decided to go sleep. But when I woke up, I decided I was gonna build just a little more further in this level because I had some ideas for it. As you can see, it is another day and I will continue making this, unfortunately. The first thing I decided to make was redecorate those big Stereo Madness structures, making them look like the ones from Slaughterhouse. I'm just gonna put the corner pieces here as well. Oh my god, bro, I feel bad. This takes a lot of objects bro let's just pop and paste this a lot um yeah it looks pretty accurate after it i decided to make some very simple pillars really quickly copy and pasted some things from the previous part in this section and for the last i decided to make that slaughterhouse cross transition that we all know just like that what dude why is that happening? Maybe the, the cross of the original one is like a little smaller. For some reason, I thought the cross in Slaughterhouse moved from top to bottom. I didn't remember it actually just appears in the screen and disappears right afterwards. But I fixed it later on, so don't worry about it. Before showing you the final result of the level, I wanna say thanks to the members of my channel. And since I have over 30 members already, I'm not gonna be able to add their names in this single part, but I'll be spreading their names all over this level once it is completely finished, obviously. So, thank you all so much for becoming a member, I really appreciate it. And yeah, this is how this level is looking like so far. In the next video, I'll have the second part already finished and I'm gonna be doing the drop part of the level. I think it's gonna be pretty funny as well because Stereo Madness ship part looks like this and Slaughterhouse drop part looks like this. But anyways, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.